Good morning, folks. We've got some interesting science articles to hit today on geoelectric hazard, cosmic chemistry, and super flares. We also have a noteworthy quake, and we'll be on solar wind watch for Thursday. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where solar flaring has dropped out as the big sunspots depart. Plasma filaments have remained stable and have not erupted. The coronal hole turning through is expected to have its solar wind arrive at Earth on Thursday morning, and it could produce geomagnetic storms. We'll be watching. Let's go to seismicity, where a 6.2 struck the Mariana Islands region, luckily out to sea and not much in the way of risk to populated areas with that one. Let's get a bit of cosmic chemistry in a starburst galaxy. They were able to use spectroscopy to break down what is happening within the dense central region of NGC 253, finding density and types of molecular gas in the area, some of which is fairly complex. Up next, let's find a new thesis on super flares. Always an excellent thing to see the subject receive attention, and while the sun itself is not given much treatment, they did look at several sun-like stars and found them having substantial super flare activity. Remember from the existing peer-reviewed studies that the sun can likely produce up to an X1000 super flare every 6,000 years, the X500 range on millennial scales, and a Carrington-like super flare every 150 to 200 years. Good article in Space Weather Next on the geoelectric hazard during solar storms in China. They found two main factors in determining where the induction and technological risk was highest, and these will be familiar to veteran observers, the high-density power line areas and the crustal chemistry and magnetic anomalies of the ground. These are the two main factors anywhere you look. Last note, if anyone is planning to go to that swarm conference in Denmark in a week, Please see last night's video on exactly what to look for and what to say to the scientists when you get a chance during the social sessions. This is our best chance to get some insight into how far down the magnetic field has actually gone. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 525 AM in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.